and for that I will like to call on stage Mr. Pritam Mina from WPC where is planning and coordination with telecommunication department government of India. He will, uh, he will inform us, enlighten us about the latest in amateur radio application procedure and service center. So stay with us. Sir, stage is yours. I have been working in WBC Wing for the last uh, eight and a half years. Earlier I used to, uh, for four years I had worked in the terrestrial division which gives licenses to the frequencies which are used below 800 megahertz. Uh, after that uh, I moved to satellite section. In satellite section we give licenses to all the uh, commercial users and uh, as well as captive users which use their satellite, uh, mainly GSO satellites of uh, DOS and uh, some coordinated international satellites. Uh, after that, I have moved to another section, that is a coordination section. In this, uh, uh, we do inter-ministry coordinations with other ministries uh, with regard to spectrum and anything uh, else. So, uh, basically, Sachin sir has already explained about the procedure uh, which have been uh, coming, uh, which will be coming in com uh, coming weeks. Uh, if it is realized. So I will be talking about what is the present uh, practice and uh, what uh, procedure we follow presently. Uh, I will give a brief about uh, wireless planning and coordination wing. Uh, this wing uh, under DOT uh, performs uh, the spectral assignment for all the radio frequencies uh, from 9 megahertz to currently uh, 47 gigahertz up to 47 gigahertz uh, uh, the environment is there. Uh, so, uh, nine, from 9 to 1. Uh, next time. Uh, this is just a brief of my activity. I uh, will come to the next time. In uh, radio communication, when we use the uh, radio frequencies for communication, uh, so International Telecom Union has uh, defined particular services uh, which will be classified based on the type of communication we do. If we are doing like fixed uh, communication from a uh, fixed station that is our HF then that is a fixed service if we involve some pocket uh, office in it then uh, that is a fixed and a mobile fixed and mobile service uh, uh, like that we have 41 services and in those 41 services also we have different applications uh, which will be uh, using these services like pocket office is one of the application then some digital communication between two uh, brains is happening, some command is going. So that is also an uh, application of a fixed service. If uh, both the links are fixed and they are using the fixed uh, frequencies which are as per the energy. Uh, in uh, WPC, we give 24 type of licenses and uh, 3 type of certificates and uh, 2 type of clearances. So HAM is not a license, it is a, a certificate. Certificate of proficiency, okay, the person is proficient enough so that he can practice the radio communication as per uh, ARA and NFT. So in WBC we have nine uh, divisions which will which deal with various type of uh, services and uh, like for HF and uh, whatever is below 800 megahertz, we have a separate section. So they will assign the frequencies for all FM assignments all VHF assignments. We have a separate division which will be giving frequencies for uh, this um, IMT, International Mobile Telephony, for the purpose of uh, any uh, mobile communication. Then we have a satellite section and also a COP section which gives all the certificates of proficiency. So these three certificates, they are dealt by uh, one of the sections of WPC. <laughs> Next slide. So this is the this is mainly the uh, work division of the WPC. Uh, one is network license. Whenever the frequencies, whenever the equipment is used with frequency in a network, there is a network license that a person has to obtain if he is using it in a licensed branch. So we have we also have some unlicensed branch for that uh, there is no uh, license requirement from the WPC. Then we also give non-network licenses like somebody who wants to operate and uh, who wants to sell the equipments, they need to have a license from UOT that is legal possession license. 
And if somebody wants to keep a licensed equipment uh, without use, then they have to take a NDPA, non-dealer possession license. So the, they will not operate, neither they will sell, they will operate in the future by obtaining the frequencies from uh, wireless training and corporation. So they have to take the NDPA. Like that, uh, non-network licenses are there. Then we have uh, aeronautical mobile station license, maritime mobile station license, whatever the six stations are there, those are also licensed and whatever the equipment, mandatory equipment on ship are there, uh, we also give licenses for ships and aircrafts. Then we have proficiency certificates. Proficiency, uh, three type of proficiency certificates are CO, uh, like first is ASOC, uh, that is for amateurs. Then another one is uh, uh, for RTR, who, whoever uh, these pilots are using. Then we have a GOC, uh, those uh, married people, they will have, to, uh, they, they need a GOC certificate to operate uh, radio equipment on the ship. Then we also give clearances, like SEPFA, means uh, if you want to install a tower that is more than 3 meters, then you need to have permission clearance from the BBC uh, for uh, SEPFA. That is a standing advisory for frequency uh, clearance committee. Uh, that will give the uh, uh, clearance after coordinating with the Air Airport Authority of India and Vitans and others. So the tower is uh, only cleared after we give the clearance of uh, the tower. Thank you much. So in uh, this I have already explained the proficiency certificates. There are three types of proficiency certificates and uh, we will be talking about the procedure for uh, uh, ASOC certificates, how it is obtained. So, so currently uh, this is the application procedure because you uh, have already obtained, so you will be knowing it. Like, uh, this presentation was mainly for the new people who want to join with us and who want to get uh, the uh, certificate from the BBC. So first phase uh, you have to apply for exam to our WMS stations, wireless monitoring stations. Uh, they will give an admit card, then uh, you will appear for an exam. If the exam is clear, then you have to again apply, currently you have to again apply to the uh, wireless planning and coordination unit for assignment of, uh, for assignment of call sign and uh, our certificate. So this, this procedure, as uh, Satin sir has already told, this procedure is going to be changed and this uh, I think this fourth one will be removed and uh, it will be clubbed in the first one. So only one time application will be there and after that all the processes will be aligned as per uh, flow. Uh, next slide please. So uh, currently as we, you already know that we have moved to service and charge portal. So this is how it looks like. Uh, in this you have to go to new registration. If any problem is there, one help desk is also there for registration purpose. And if some, uh, after uh, registration also, you find that you are not able to uh, fill some form or some mistake is coming, then uh, our, we have also developed a uh, help desk for this. Uh, call it, uh, like guide. You can uh, point by point, you can scroll the guide and uh, get the uh, outcome. If you want to see, I can give you the guide also. It will be there. Uh, the other one that you have. No, uh, that one will be down to So this is a user manual. If anybody finds any problem, they can go to user manual and uh, get it clear. Otherwise also if uh, something is missing in the user manual, you can also write to us or you can go in the head desk and raise the query. It will be addressed as per the dialogue. Uh, okay. Please go to presentation. From this, uh, there is a uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, 
there is a statistical value also because uh, now government has become uh, very uh, citizen friendly and uh, everything needs to be uh, transparent. So whatever licenses we issue, the numbers are shown in uh, this uh, tab and uh, anytime you can go and check uh, whether the numbers of hands have changed or not or how many hands we have cleared since uh, this data is since uh, I think June 21. June 21, all the hands that uh, license that we are issued, this data is there. Thanks. As we all know that hand is governed by the Article 25 of the Radio Regulations. So, uh, and it is a hobby. And uh, it is a hobby for those people who have a scientific approach. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, I used to also think, because I am not, uh, not worked with the amateurs in uh, my first term of paper language, uh, but I think uh, these uh, hand people have developed the technology and uh, this new satellites, that, like Elon Musk is using the new satellites for communication. Hand people are doing it for uh, past 25 years or so. So these are the cause viewers of technology. So we are also trying to support them by giving licenses on time, certificates on time. In, uh, if there is any problem, uh, you can approach to us so that we can uh, coordinate with other ministries also if you want any seminars or anything. That, uh, you, uh, that there should be a seminar by DOT or there should be some meetings with other ministries or maybe you want some another band, uh, this band is not sufficient as per NFP. So, uh, so you can approach us. We will uh, coordinate with other, other ministries. Currently, uh, as per citizen charter, this is the timeline and uh, we are also in the process of uh, revising the timeline for certificate issue. Uh, like currently it is 45 days, so we are uh, currently consulting and uh, we will try to get it by 30 days or for renewal we are trying to get it by 15 days. So if it is approved, then it will also benefit the new people. So this is the old data, uh, that is uh, 2021 and uh, as we can see we have issued 564 number of M licenses in that year. So all data is also available and uh, with this uh, I would like to end this presentation. Thank you.